What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Happy Thursday, Rooster Man's last day of work this week. I am taking a vacation day tomorrow. But anyway, kind of looking through some things and a lot of craziness still going on today, even out of after yesterday. I figure everybody would be a little exhausted on the uh, uh, early signing day. But uh, we get news, Jay Bateman former Army and North Carolina defense coordinator that was working for the Florida Gators. I think he's a defensive line coach. Up, takes the job at Texas A&M as the defensive coordinator. Now, I'm not going to beat up Jay Bateman for taking a uh, higher paying job. First and foremost, I'm not going to say at a better university because I'm not going to say Texas A&M is a better university in Florida. But uh, anyway, so now the parents of some of the kids, or at least one of the kids, and I'm not going to call the parent's name, but it's out there on X for anyone to go find. Um, they're mad because there was no communication uh, from Billy Napier, Jay Bateman, anything to the kids that had just signed yesterday. So what the hell is going on with the Florida Gators? I mean, they lost a bunch of commitments yesterday. Guys flipped away, uh, went elsewhere. Um, are they building on Billy Napier? And I did a video a while back that I actually started to like Billy Napier. And some of the, I don't know his, I think he's smart. I just don't know if he's built to be a head coach at a major program like Florida. It just takes a unique individual and a unique personality to be a head coach. I'm not sure Billy has that. He's just kind of a, he's just a Sunbelt Billy. I mean, he just, the, he doesn't have a big personality. Um, well, I don't know the guy personally. I'm just telling you what I see on TV. Uh, hell, he might be a big old drinking partying machine when he's not around the university. I don't know. I don't know. But other news, I mean, I guess Florida's gone crazy. The only two teams in the state of Florida that are power five teams that don't have some ridiculous crazy shit going on is Miami and uh, Central Florida. I don't know what the hell. Uh, Florida State now back to having a meeting tomorrow, calling all their board of trustees to try and uh, come up with a solution on how to get out of the ACC. Now, I don't know how many times we've heard this story. This is a reoccurring stir story when it comes to Florida State. Um, so I don't know. Uh, obviously the contract cannot be voided out because if that was the case, Florida State and Clemson would have already left the ACC. So the only way to do it is I guess you would think something similar to what SMU did, where you get enough money out of boosters and I don't know, do you go take a big loan out uh, to the Saudis or somewhere like that enough money that for uh, the next how many thousands of years uh, you don't have to worry about taking money on the TV contract I, I don't know how they're going to do it I guess they're still working on it I guess they're truly 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 pissed off about the whole playoff thing trying to just get to a bigger conference uh, I'm assuming the only problem I guess I would have to think about this is who would who wants them? I mean, where would they go? At the SEC, are they going to take Florida State? Probably not. Um, since they already have Florida, which is the flagship school. So I, I don't see the SEC really wanting to expand anymore. Um, they got their 16 teams. I mean, what the hell are we going to keep expanding? Everybody's going to have 24 teams in their league. We're going to water it down. The product I don't, I don't know but where would they go and, and the same thing the other day it came out and i made the video and i know people got mad at me about it but it was out there of florida of clemson getting left behind and it was not really a joke video someone had put that out that clemson wouldn't be a take the kind of the take was that miami who has aau status and florida state would qualify to go to the big 10. well then the sec people have come out and said well if the sec was going to take teams they want flagship universities so it'd be north carolina and virginia 
and expand the front footprint of the SEC up the East Coast, which kind of makes sense to me. I, I mean, I don't know. I, I you would say Clemson's a natural fit for the SEC. You'd say Florida State's a natural fit for the SEC, but are they? I mean, you already got schools in these states that are already in the SEC. So I don't know, I'm not Greg Sankey. Uh, I don't know the value, the money value that they would bring to the conference. Now, as far as like eyes on the games, uh, uh, if that's what you're talking about, TV and people watching on TV and uh, all that stuff, now, you, you, yeah, you definitely, the Florida State, Florida, they already play, Clemson, South Carolina already plays. You're adding in games like, you know, first game this year, we got, or 2024, we got Georgia uh, versus Clemson. Do you think that's going to be a good football game? I do. I truly think that's going to be a really good football game. Um, I'll watch it. Uh, I don't know what Clemson's going to be. I know, I, I know what Georgia's going to be. I don't know who stays. I don't think it's ever been announced if Shipley's coming back to Clemson, but it ain't been announced that he has no plans to leave either. So maybe that's the case. Maybe uh, Clemson still comes in with a lot of their players. I know they lost a couple guys off of defense. I don't think that's much of an issue for Clemson. Um, I don't know. Uh, Florida State, now they're going to lose a lot. But, you know, this year Norvell's actually gotten some high school recruits, and he's kind of built some guys behind that transfer portal class he had last year. Uh, how much the guys get to play, how well they'll do next year, I don't know. Um, a lot of teams are going to be a lot different come next year. They just will. With all this transfer portal and these uh, teams that attack. I mean, you look at Ole Miss. I mean, Lane Kiffin got his wish, right? Keep, keep uh, just kind of keep it door open that you might leave until someone comes up with some money to buy you a good class. And I guess the money came and, uh, he was able to get him a good transfer portal class. So somebody gave him money. They wanted to keep him around as a head coach. They, I guess they got tired of him getting uh, rumored to be leaving Ole Miss. So I don't know. I don't know. So, and he extended his contract to 2028. So I would say Lane Kiffin is pretty safe to be staying uh, with Ole Miss for a while. Anyway, uh, just interesting things. Some things that was out there on college football today I kind of threw out there. You guys got any comments on it? Um, what you think is going to happen? Can Florida State get out? Is there enough donors and backers uh, for that school to be able to afford just to give their money away until whatever the hell that is, 2036 or some craziness? I mean, that, that <laughs> that's a long time, 12 years not to get paid. Uh, losing 30 plus almost 40 million dollars a year but then again if you think about it man there's probably some boosters that can that go to florida state and they can write write them a 40 million dollar check a year and it probably doesn't budge their bank account uh, i don't i don't know I, i'm sure there's some rich people that have gone to florida state that uh have billions of dollars and 40 million ain't much especially if you got more rich people chipping in I, I don't know. Maybe they're just tired of falling behind. Where would they go? Who would be the takers for Florida State, SEC, Big Ten, Big 12? Big 12's kind of stretched out. Your schedule, I don't know what your schedule would kind of be, but you do have UCF. Um, so I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe. What do you guys think? You guys leave a comment. Uh, let me know what you think. If you think Florida State's going to have the ability to get out or not get out, um, wherever they go, who would take them? Let me know um, what you think. I, I just, I'm not sure even getting out unless they're going to run the independent for a little while until it, and maybe talk Notre Dame or see if someone else pops out there that helps give them some leverage to get into one of these other conferences. I don't know. I, I just don't. Um, but it's always interesting to talk about. And the Gator Man, I feel bad for y'all. I don't know what the hell is going on in, up there in Gainesville, Gatorsville, but uh, that's a bad look, man. Bad look. I ain't going to blame it on Billy Napier because we don't know. 
whether Bateman just hauled ass and didn't tell him because at South Carolina we had some coaches just pack their shit up into their little Volkswagens in the middle of the night and take off and didn't tell anybody anything either. So, uh, did that happen? Don't know. We don't know the story behind the story. I'm sure it'll come out sooner or later. If this was known before the kids went in there and signed and not communicated to the kids, then that is a very, very, very bad look on Billy Napier. Um, that, that would be some trick shit on trying to uh, hold that recruiting class together and not being honest on what was going on with the program. So, bad look, bad look. Anyone check on Octavian? Uh, he might be ready to uh, jump off a bridge somewhere. Uh, we don't want Octavian to do that because we like his delusion. It's kind of funny at times. But uh, anyway, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, notification button and uh help keep the channel growing we're up over uh 660 subscribers now and we're putting a big push on to hit that thousand mark and then keep going from there but anyway appreciate all you guys hit the thumbs up before you get out of here and we'll holla at you later peace